Michael. Short Bear here with another Code Wars challenge. This one is a level eight and it's in Python and the name of it is Reversed Words. As always, there'll be a link to the original challenge in the show notes if you wanna follow along. So in this challenge, we're given uh, basically one single string, uh, most likely will be a sentence. And so what we have to do is first off, we need to chop that string up into its own uh, constituent words and then basically reverse them. So. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so in the function, our parameter is simply called s, probably for string. And so the first thing we need to do is chop this up into a list of words. So I'll set a variable here, words is equal to s.split. And we're splitting on every single space. So what this will do is it'll basically, if we have a string of two words, foobar, this will basically turn it into a list of two strings. So the first one would be foo, and the second one would be bar. So that's gonna be our words. And then in Python, to reverse the words, so we can say reversed words is equal to, so in Python, words right now is a list of strings, and we wanna reverse that. So we're gonna say words, excuse me, words, and so we're indexing into the words and simply colon, colon, negative one. This is basically the Python way of reversing a list. So once it's reversed, we need to turn it back into a list of strings. So right now, this is now bar comma foo. And so now we want to take this list of reversed words and combine it back into a single string. Uh, so the way we're gonna do that is in Python, we want to take our list of strings and combine them. So we're gonna take the string that we want to join them up on, which is gonna be an empty space. So we take the string and we call dot join. And inside of the join method, we pass in a list of strings. So in this case, this is our reversed words. So let's test this out. So far, so good. We passed the initial test. So let's do one final attempt here. And it looks like we got it. So we'll hit submit here and be done with another challenge.